to dwarf or not to dwarf? That is the question. Hi folks, welcome back to Widow's Astro Forum and thanks so much for tuning in. When people want to start their astrophotography hobby, they contact me and they ask me, hey Widow, can you advise me on a good telescope and a good quality camera to start astrophotography? And one of the first things I'll always ask them is, hey, how much money are you willing to spend on astrophotography? And 90% of the people say, well, I'm willing to spend about four to five hundred dollars or euros. And then I'm always happy hesitant to give them some advice because yeah, a good quality telescope, you can buy it for around four to five hundred dollars, but you're also going to need a good quality camera to image the objects in the night sky. You're also going to need a good stable telescope mount to mount your telescope on and so on. So uh, in the end, you're going to end up spending a lot more money than that five hundred dollars or euros. But then Dwarf Lab sent me this telescope. They say it's a telescope. So let me show you. This is the Dwarf 2, and actually it's a rather ingenious device. It has a tele-zoom lens and a wide-angle lens, and you have an ingenious like mount here. You can actually put this telescope on a photo tripod, and um, the deluxe version has some uh, filters to also look at the surface of the sun and to get into deep sky astrophotography. So yeah, I wanted to explore this Dwarf 2 telescope because it's about 419 euros or dollars for the basic version and with the filters it goes for around 540 something like that. So the main question of this video is to dwarf or not to dwarf? In this video I'm going to use the Dwarf 2 to look at birds, image the sun and I'll attempt to photograph the Andromeda galaxy from my rooftop in the city which is about 2.5 million light years away. Let's take a closer look at the Dwarf 2 telescope first. The Dwarf 2 is a portable smart telescope which can be controlled by a mobile app called Dwarf Lab which connects the smart telescope over Wi-Fi to your smartphone or tablet. The telescope is designed for amateur astronomers, bird watchers and wildlife photographers. The classic edition features a telescope, a carry bag, a rechargeable battery and a mini tripod. The deluxe edition comes with an extra rechargeable battery, two ND solar filters and one ultra high contrast AP filter. I ditched my mini tripod for a normal sized photo tripod in my video and I didn't use the ultra high contrast filter for astrophotography because they generally produce inferior astrophotography results, especially when photographing broadband targets like galaxies. In terms of optics, the Dwarf 2 has an 8 megapixel telephoto lens and a 2 megapixel wide angle lens. The telephoto lens has an aperture of 24 mm and a focal length of just 100 mm at f4.2. Normally you'd say that's not enough magnification for birding or astrophotography, but the Dwarf 2 also features a Sony IMX415 sensor with a tiny pixel size of just 1.45 micrometers, which gives you a camera equivalent focal length of 675 mm and a 3 degree view of the night sky. That's about 6 times the diameter of the moon. The wide field lens offers a focal length of 48 mm at f2.4, which gives you a generous 50 degree view of the night sky. Let's get back to testing that dwarf too.
I really, really liked uh, photographing and videotaping those birds in the countryside. I have to say uh, the combination of a wide angle lens and a tele zoom lens working together to search for those birds makes it very easy to get these birds in the field of view of that tele lens. What was somewhat less successful was the autofocus feature. I had to manually adjust the focus several times and also the tracking feature, it worked a little bit, but when there's a bird in a similar flock of birds, that um, the tracking feature actually tend to jump from one bird to the other. So that was definitely uh, not super successful, but still I had a good time. But of course I have an astrophotography channel. So what we're going to do, let me show you. We're going to focus that dwarf on the sun. Can I actually focus on the sun here? Yeah, here it is. So let's take a look at the sun with the Dwarf 2. So the deluxe version of the Dwarf 2 also comes with additional filters and a magnetic holder. You can actually screw these one and a quarter inch filters in the magnetic holder like this. And then you can put this magnetic holder in front of the Dwarf 2 before actually pointing your telescope at the sun. And by the way, these are two ND solar filters, but never do this. Ah. Never do this, never watch directly at the sun using these filters with the naked eye. Did I say never? I meant never, because these ND filters, they, they, they block a lot of the sunlight, but they still, they don't block ultraviolet light. So you will end up with eye damage. So never do this, but put it in front of your Dwarf 2 telescope. download the videos I took on my computer and then I'm going to do some deep sky astrophotography on my rooftop from home tonight so let's go
to dwarf or not to dwarf? That's the question we started out with at the beginning of this video. So let me give you my final verdict. I think the Dwarf 2 Smart Telescope, it caters to a very specific audience. So if you are that person who's looking to get into astrophotography, but you're not yet willing or unable to spend thousands of euros or dollars on a high quality telescope, a telescope mount, astro cameras and so on, then you should definitely consider the Dwarf 2 Smart Telescope, which comes in at about four to five hundred dollars or euros, depending on the version. And for that money, you will get a great smart telescope. You can control it using your smartphone or your tablet. And the Dwarf 2 Smart Telescope can automatically find, track and photograph objects in the night sky. You'll end up with pretty decent images of the sun, uh, the moon and some of the bigger famous objects in deep space, such as the Andromeda Galaxy, the Orion Nebula, the Pleiades and so on. And by the way, uh, Dwarf Lab provided me with a 5% discount code. So if you fill out my channel name, which is Widow's Astro Forum, when buying a Dwarf 2 Telescope, you'll get a 5% discount. That's Widow's Astro Forum. I will also put a link in the video description below to that discount. However, if you are that person looking for the highest quality astrophotography pictures, then please subscribe to my channel where I review different telescopes, telescope mounts, astro cameras and so on. And if you join my channel for $2.99 a month as an astro coffee supporter, you'll get access to my highest quality astrophotography pictures and my more extensive astrophotography tutorials. And I could explain to you, for instance, that if only Dwarf Lab would polar align the Dwarf 2 Smart Telescope, and if only the the wide angle lens would act like a guide camera, then you would end up with much longer exposure pictures with a higher signal to noise ratio, which would greatly increase the quality of the astrophotography pictures taken by the Dwarf 2 telescope. But anyway, have a good time. See you in the next video. Clear skies.